Hi. This is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to create a database in Microsoft Access 2013. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to create a database in Microsoft Access 2013 or 2013. So first, we are going to create a new database and save it as book underscore bank in the folder created on your desktop. So what we are going to do, create a new database and save it as book bank in the folder created on your desktop. And next, we are going to create a new table with the designs given below and save it as table underscore books or tb underscore books. What we are going to do? We are going to create a new table with designs given below and save it as tb underscore books. So we have the field names, data type, field size and format. For example, BID is a field name, so book ID if you are using Office 2010 you want to use text if you're using office 2013 you want to use short text what is the field size 20 and title text or short text 20 ISBN number long integer and date of borrow date and time and medium date last one is borrower ID text or short text field size is 20 so then we are going to insert the given below in the table tb underscore books so what we are going to do is after creating the table we are going to feed the table with the following values what we are going to do after creating the table we are going to feed these values into the table and next step we are going to create another table with the following designs that is book id text or short text, book name, text or short text, contact number and city lookup wizard. And after that we are going to feed the table with the following data. So how to achieve this task? In order to achieve this task we should open Microsoft Access 2013. How to open Access 2013? It's simple. Go to start, go to all programs and go to Microsoft Office. and click on access 2013 once again i repeat the steps go to start go to all programs and look for microsoft office 2013 or 2013 click on access 2013 in order to open it so as a first step you want to select blank database as a first step what you want to do is you want to select blank desktop database as a first step and then so click on browse in order to save it so I'm going to save and desktop create a new folder let us say book bank and save it as book bank click OK and create ok so now you can able to see the ID with the default table table 1 what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename the table how to rename just go to design view so it will ask for the table name so here I have a word file with the same following details so first we want to create a table what is the name of the table tb underscore books so I'm going to paste it here click ok so now you can able to see the field name data type and description is an optional so where you can able to see the primary key so first field is bid copy this field or type this field and what is that thing it's a short text so what is the field size 20 here you can find the field size so just change it to 20 and second 
Field name is title. So short text and twenty. So field name is title. Data type is short text. And what is the field size? Twenty. And third field is ISBN. And what is the data type? Number. So click on number and you can see the field size is long integer and what is next and next is date of borrow and data type is date and time just click on date and time and go to format and select medium date and last is borrower id so what is it it is a short text what is the size the 20 so go to field size and make it 20 so after completing the task save it and close it when you double click on this table which allows you to key in the values let us say book id 101 and title vc plus plus let us say isbn triple one and date of borrow let us say 5 and borrower id let us say b101 and let us say 102 dotnet 2010 so 2014 let us say 122 so just click on date here and change the date let us say third let us say borrower id b202 so the next one is 103 let us say ms office 2013 let us say borrower id isbn is triple three and date of borrow you can choose the date as you like let us say b303 so where you can find what is a table a table is a primary unit of storage in case of access if you want to store any information you can store the information in a form of tables where you will be having columns so where bid is a column title is a column isbn is a column so columns and rows so columns are nothing but the field names and rows are nothing but records so this is a row it's a record this is a row this is a record and this is a row this is a record and bid is a column it's a field title is in column it's a field so our table consists of rows and column which are used to store data after completing this just close this and save it now we are going to create one more table so we are going to create another table and save it as tb underscore borrower so how to create one more table just navigate to create tab and click on table once again i repeat the steps how to create a new table so go to create tab and click on table so when you click on table you can able to see table one as a new table just click on table one and go to create table design so what is the first field name it's a bid so data type is short text and field size is 20 and second one is b name short text and field size is 25 so field size and third one is contact and what is it it's a number just select where when you click on here you can see the drop down from drop down you can select number and field size long integer and next one is city in case of city you want to use lookup wizard and you want to key in three values salala musket sur okay so city just click on data type 
and navigate to lookup wizard just click on lookup wizard when you click on lookup wizard the lookup wizard dialog box will open and you want to select the second option to key in the value if you want to update any value from existing tables you can use the first option if you want to key in if you want to type the values use the second option now i'm going to type the values so i want to use the second option click next so first type your salala and second one is musket third one is so and click next if you want to provide any name provide the name right here i'm not going to provide any name click finish so now you want to save the table so just click on save in order to save it and save with the table name tb underscore borrower and click ok okay so what is the problem see here you have uh, two fields with the same name all right as per the table creation there should not be any two fields with the same name so i want to change it to city and then close it save it and now just click on tv underscore borrower in order to enter the values let us say book id 101 so it is an auto generated id don't worry about it so 101 and book name let us say vc plus plus and contact enter the numbers and city you can select so this is called as lookup wizard let us say 102 and ms office 2013 and you can enter the numbers and select the city musket and 103 dot net 2014 and enter the number and select the city so where id is an auto generated id so what is the table the t uh, table consists of rows and columns in order to store the values id is a row bid is a row sorry column and this is a row and this is a row uh, rows are nothing but records columns are nothing but fields so save it so now where you have created two tables one is a tb underscore books and tb underscore forever so you can delete this there is no need for another table okay where well you can have two tables so delete this it's open so you cannot able to delete it so now when you close that it will be automatically removed so now you have created two tables in the database in access database i think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video